I am Anna Solberg, Prime Minister of Norway. I am Tamir Mangsao Jr., President of Palau. We represent very different nations in culture, economy and geography, but we share the same ocean. Our ocean today faces multiple threats, all human-made, from climate change to ocean acidification, overfishing and marine pollution. The same ocean is critical to the planet, to our health, to our lives. From food security to clean energy, to recovery and jobs, the ocean provides solutions. That's why we need to give it 100%. Today, we are 14 heads of government calling for a transformation in how we manage the ocean to achieve better protection, more production and shared prosperity. More than two years ago, we set out to shape a transformative agenda to advance a sustainable ocean economy for a healthy ocean alongside sustainable production to benefit people everywhere. We commissioned more than 230 world leading experts to provide us with new signs, knowledge, and opportunities for action. Their work is captured in an impressive report published today titled Ocean Solutions for People, Nature, and the Economy. It presents science-based, practical solutions and abundant evidence of the benefits of ocean action for people, nature, and the economy. As leaders of 14 ocean states, we build on this knowledge in the far-reaching political document we are launching today, Transformations for a Sustainable Ocean Economy, a vision for protection, production, and prosperity. This is a new ocean actions agenda to create a sustainable ocean economy where ocean protection, production, and prosperity go hand in hand. Our 14 countries represent 30% of the world's coastlines and 30% of the world's national waters. As leaders of our countries, we have together committed to sustainable management of all our ocean territories. Again, we are giving it 100%. This pandemic has highlighted the need for transformative change in our relationship with nature. Building a sustainable ocean economy is one of the most important tasks and one of the greatest opportunities of our time. This is a critical moment to start and we need to give it 100%. For people, for nature and for jobs, we call on other world leaders and partners across the private sector, financial community, civil society and others to join us in making the 100% goal a reality.